Okay, so let's talk about step three, the standard lean to with the side opening. Essentially, it's the same as step two, the basic lean to. And there's the roof, the same as the lean to right there. But what you're doing is you're going to have the um, ends enclosed. I haven't drawn the ends enclosed here to keep the diagram clear. Um, but you're going to put poles at the ends, like in a fan shape coming out, more roof material, and you can enclose both ends. It's also as demonstrated by Lofty Wiseman in a good video on YouTube. You can look it up. He had three students make this shelter. So that's what you can look up. And this shelter does give you the best option um, for a fire. You get a fire out the front, you get plenty of heat and convection currents coming in, you get the best heat from a fire into the shelter, and that's what Lofty Wiseman demonstrates. The ridge poles, again, around four and a half feet. In the last video for step two, I said four feet, but a six foot poles, which I like to work with at a 45 degree angle, will give you a bit more than four feet, about four and a half feet, definitely under five feet. Um, it's all thereabouts, all approximate figures. You're not taking exact measurements when you're out there. So the feature about this shelter is the large side opening. Now, you're going to have these awning support poles, one on both sides at the front, one sticking out on both here and here at the front, and there it is there coming down there. The roofs on the back side, these are sticking out the front, and they're going to support lintel poles coming across like that, and an extra roof just like that, which you can call an awning roof coming down. It might come down a bit more to about halfway or thereabouts, and you can see how that awning roof, supported by those um, awning support poles at the front, will give you more coverage. You can be in there with more coverage just like that. So that's the key feature to this side opening. It does give you the best heat from a fire having the side opening. I do demonstrate that. That's 13 videos I make online, the pen shelter. I show you the frame and I crawl in and show you the big side opening. But I went on to make the full A frame, which is step four, and my pen shelter, which is step five. So I showed you the frame and how it works. And a couple of things, question marks, I do have about this shelter is it might be a bit difficult to make that awning um, coming down like that because Lofty Wiseman uses ferns, which is a great material. If you use ferns or perhaps cl clumps of grass and so forth, you can stick that into the, um, the lintel pieces and the smaller, supple, longer, thinner pieces you interweave to make the roof frame. But if you've got debris like um, leaves and so forth, it might be hard to keep those, the debris on the roof. So it's easy to put debris on the roof on the back side because you just put like a mountain of roof, like, same as a tripod shelter, down to the ground. That's easy, but to keep it onto a little awning roof like that, um, that's going to be harder to do. So that's a question mark. If you can do it, that's fine, but it's a question mark about making the awning roof. Um, and also weatherproofing the side opening might be a question mark. Now, you might have rain and wind coming in at the angle. Lofty Wiseman had three people. I'm not sure how they're going to sleep. One person's going to be fine in there, perhaps two people in the middle, but the third person's going to be near the big opening. And if rain and wind's coming in at the angle, that could be a question mark. Now, they, you can all squeeze in close to, the, um, to that side. That's fine. Um, if you sleep lengthways like that, either your head or feet is going to be near the opening again, so that's a question mark. You could curl your feet up in a fetal position and get away from the opening, so it can be done. It's just a question mark about having one person, two people for sure, three people might be a question mark, and that's where the full A-frame and the pen shelter is good, because if you've got a full A-shaped roof, you could have three people laying down side by side, getting the protection, so... It can be done, they're just question marks. So you may well want to go from step two straight to step four, which is the full A-frame, gives you the best roof coverage, but this does give you the best um, heat from a fire. The full A-frame, step four or step five, you're gonna have a fire out the end opening. You may not get that heat coming into the shelter like you do for this one. So they're the main features for the standard lean-to with a side opening. Um, very much an option for a shelter as demonstrated by Lofty Wiseman. 
Um, I just question a couple of question marks about making the awning roof and the weatherproofing for the side opening, especially if you have three people in there. But if it can be done, you can squeeze in, that's fine. So there's a standard lean-to with the side opening and we'll move on to um, step four.